just because a person can't walk or just because a person has uh, you know, no legs or maybe one arm or whatever the case may be, that they're still fully functioning, happy members of society and they deserve to be treated just like you would treat a person with working arms, working legs, whatever. My name is Joshua George. I'm 24 years old and this summer I'll be representing the U.S. at the Beijing Paralympic Games. I absolutely love wheelchair racing. I love everything that, that goes along with it. I've, I've developed a, a tight network of friends who also race from all over the world. I love the feeling of the actual competition um, of beforehand, of, of, of after the race. For my class, I am the top ranked racer in the world for the 100, 200, 400, and 800 meter races. Um, on the track. Uh, well, when I was when I was four years old, um, my parents had had laid me down in my bedroom. I was supposed to be taking a nap, and like like most four year olds, I wasn't really doing what I was supposed to be doing. And so I climbed up on the windowsill and started shuffling across to get uh, the toy or whatever I wanted from the shelf. And when I was halfway across the the windowsill, I felt kind of tired and I, I leaned backwards so the screen popped out and I fell out with it fell 12 stories to the ground so I broke both my femurs I dislocated my hips and I bruised my spinal cord when I left the hospital I was in a full body cast from my shoulders to my feet and I had um, pins keeping my hips keeping my femurs uh, into the into the socket so the first thing you have to do after the accident is reteach yourself how to live uh, without the use of your lower body. Um, I had to learn how to use a wheelchair. I had to learn how to use uh, braces and crutches um, so I could sort of walk around in braces and leg braces. You know, I always enjoyed pushing my, my chair really fast and uh, when I was in rehab in Delaware, I would always get in trouble from the nurses for racing around the halls as fast as I could. In the, in the early 90s, I had the opportunity, my first opportunity to run uh, an actual race, you know, with a starting line and a finish line. But I did it in my, in my everyday chair and I, I ran it and I won the race and I, I, I loved it. I had a, I had a blast. When I, when I look at myself, I, I don't really see that I'm disabled or, or, or handicapped. Um, part of that probably is the fact that I, I hate the word disabled. Uh, it has such a negative connotation to it. And even if you break it down in its parts, it doesn't really mean anything positive. It means that you're not able to do something. And the fact that I'm not able to walk isn't really a negative. Um, so, I, I mean, I look at myself, I'm, I'm a guy in a wheelchair. I, I, push around instead of walking around. Uh, my life is really no different than anybody else's on a day-to-day on a -day basis. Um, I'm a completely independent individual. Uh, I have my own car. I, I, uh, you know, if I need to drive somewhere, I could drive somewhere on my own. I just toss my chair either in the back seat or the passenger seat of the car. And um, I have, uh, I use hand controls, just a a handheld version of the pedals basically and, and drive myself around. And if I had to rely on somebody else to drive me around, I'd be lost. Um, I go to the store and get whatever I want. Uh, I could walk around town. I mean, I'm, I go out to eat, go out, hang out with friends, go to um, concerts, whatever it may be. My diet as it is, I don't even know if you could call it a, a, a diet. It's, uh, uh, I basically am on the uh, sea seafood diet. I, I see it, I eat it. Breakfast of champions. Right now, where I'm at in life, I am. My job is basically to to race, to train, and to race. The the most important person in in my my racing life right now is definitely my coach it Adam will Blakeney. Give me a better turning radius. Yeah, I mean it will just be. He, uh, he trains with me every day, and he's the one that devises the workout plan and uh, keeps me focused. Then go to Switzerland, and then we'll train in Switzerland. And so for, for what's coming up and for the ultimate goal of this year, which would be Beijing. Man, your legs are like busted there. Yeah, they do. This is probably the busiest time of the year for me. Um, athletically, I am, I'm traveling just about every weekend. I've been 
I've been gone more than I've been home since January. Oh, well, when I am home, I just try to relax. Uh, I enjoy having a comfortable couch. I enjoy my own bed. I really, I only have time to, to, to do some laundry, to lay around, watch a movie or two, and then I'm off again. Basically, the only thing that I will never be able to do is be a professional soccer player. I mean, that's sort of, that's ruled, that was ruled out a while ago. I don't, I don't feel that there is anything that I'd ever have to do that I, that I won't be able to do because I'm confined to a wheelchair.